Hello YouTubers, today's episode is going to be twofold. I'll be talking about the hospitality of uh, Cracker Barrel and then also going over some of my most recent upgrades that we've made over the last six months. Last night and tonight we're boondocking in the parking lot of Cracker Barrel on uh, I-75 exit 141. This has got a real spacious lot. Uh, next to the truck are all slots that are available for RVs. Although, uh, like we've noticed in all the other Cracker Barrels that we've stayed at, the slots are relatively short. And so since we've got a 30 foot trailer that uh, we have been parking in a little bit more remote spots uh, in uh, in the lot. The last lot that we were at, we were uh, parked right next to uh, the trash, which they did not mind at all. Uh, today, our last night and this morning, this has got such a large lot, we are packed way in the back all by ourselves. It's got a real nice setting, it's shaded. Uh, it's well lit at night. We can actually let Chester out to run and play. He loves to chase the stick. And so, which he's uh, doing with Marilyn right now. So the lot's relatively level. Uh, I do have a couple of blocks underneath my uh, right tires, but I'm gonna have to change that because I'm a little over, over adjusted, I should say. So I've got the generator running right now. And, uh, that's one of the first things I want to kind of give you a little update on. The uh, generator has been working extremely well and has been quiet. And I'll flip this back so we can get a little better look. The beauty of this is it's very quiet. It's uh, got the gas cans right in the middle of the two uh, storage bins, and so they're easy to get to. Um, I do have to replace one of the seals on the gas can because it's uh, um, missing, so I've got to replace that. But I keep uh, my setting uh, at night. I leave the battery switch on, and it's on uh, economy mode. Choke is out for run and uh, works great. I'll shut it off when we get tired at night using the remote. Don't even have to get out of bed. We'll just turn the TV off at night and hit the remote and she's off. So uh, then when we wake up in the morning and wanna watch the news, they hit the remote again, starts right up. The gas consumption, uh, I have two, two and a half gallon cans and uh, one can will get me through probably two eight hour runs on the generator. Not that I run it that long, but that's typically uh, what I get out of it. So if I fill it up at night, it's good for the mo that night and then uh, the rest of the morning. So my cable, that is running straight down the bottom of the camper. I always lock it up with this lock that I have, and I've shown that before. And uh, I've got one of these uh, cable locks on the bicycles, and I just run it through my cable. So it kind of deters anybody from uh, unplugging it and uh, running off with uh, the cable or the bikes. Uh, of course, if somebody really wants it, they'll just cut the darn cable. But I've got the same thing set on the generator as well and that's right here and so uh, that again uses the same my ignition key which I also have on the back of the truck for the hitch 
So one key, one size fits all. So one of the nice things about the generator too is that I can close this up. It's sheltered from any rain. I can also fold this up, close the tailgate, and then if I have to, if I need bubble in here, I can prop open the tailgate so it gets ventilation. So again, works great. CB antenna has been working pretty good. Uh, not that we've used it that much, but uh, it's been kind of a handy uh, device to have. Makes me feel a little bit more comfortable. Uh, tire pressure monitor, that works out all right. Uh, although I've noticed a few times that uh, the right rear tire sensor has a tendency to go out. It'll come back on again. That could just be to the uh, the result of the low battery. My Garmin, one of the best purchases I've ever made. Love this thing. Uh, right now, when I turn it on, you can see the rear camera. But the beauty of this is even though the speech recognition isn't all that great, it still works uh, fantastic when I'm uh, driving down the road shows me where to get off uh, on the exit, tells me what lanes to be in, and uh, kind of keeps me on a good guided path though, so uh, I'm not going to run over uh, uh, any roads where there's weight, weight limits, not that I really need them that much, and also it uh, keeps me from going under any low bridges or overhangs that might be lower than what the actual height of the camper is. My rear camera is working great, especially since I moved my sensor up front uh, to uh, next to my uh, uh, LP tanks. Um, since uh, it's up there closer to the actual Garmin, I'm not having a problem having it going in and out all the time. I haven't had any problems at all driving down here, switching back and forth from map to camera. There's a shot of my sensor for my rear camera, uh, or that, uh, or transmitter for the rear camera to the Garmin. That's where I got a position. I have it uh, out of the weather, in between my tanks. There's no interference, and uh, it stays nice and dry and secure. Of course, all my wiring is run right down here through the PVC, so that stays. Uh, untouched by the elements. Here's a sneak peek of one of my next projects. Uh, evidently my water tank has slipped over to the passenger side so it's not centered on the supports causing it to kind of tip to the right or downward a little bit. This is something I'm going to take care of within the next uh, week and uh, in order to do that I'm going to have to drain the tank so when I'm done boondocking, uh, I can go ahead and uh, do so and then see if I can get that re-centered and supported to where it really belongs. One of my upgrades that I did just recently was the voltmeter upgrade, which was a real simple install. Uh, I have uh, found this uh, quite beneficial. It's kind of nice to know what my battery uh, level is at, as well as... Uh, seeing if I'm charging and it also has uh, the uh, cigarette lighter port as well as the USB ports which both work very well for our uh, uh, phones and any other 12 volt accessories that we have. Here's a little footnote for you. I've got to have a little memory up for myself. Uh, a couple times I've been caught starting to pull away with my antenna up. Um, I've got <laughs> A label maker and I made uh, antenna down state uh, label for uh, right next to my control panel there and uh, one of the last things I look at before I lock up and I've also got one uh, sitting on my steering wheel column so I'm not gonna let this happen again uh, I've got a terrible memory I've had the lacrosse indoor outdoor thermometer barometer for uh, a few months 
took a little getting used to however uh, it seems to be working a little bit better now once I got uh, the sensor repositioned I do notice that uh, there is some problems with uh, timekeeping it just does not stay accurate usually it is off by a minute or two even after a day or two of setting it okay youtubers don't laugh but this is one of my favorite upgrades it's my uh, uh, stainless steel standard old ordinary percolator this thing we just stored our uh, electric coffee maker because this works a lot better I like being able to use it whether we've got power or not it makes better coffee it makes just as much as we need and it's easy cleanup um, also what I like about it is that I can just simply pull the uh, basket out and if the coffee's cold just turn the burner on at low and it heats up and it's great so this is one of my number one upgrades like I said youtubers don't laugh at me one of our not so favorite upgrades that we did was put up these uh, clips for the spices I uh, thought it was a pretty good idea and it's all right at home uh, but when you're on the road I have a hard time keeping a lot of these jars of spices on the on the uh, rack. Uh, they have a tendency to jingle, jingle off. Uh, the prongs also seem to stretch out a little bit. So it's okay to keep them organized, but it's not one of my favorites. I've got uh, two levels on two doors. Uh, on the right door, I've got some spices. And then also on the left door, I've got some as well. And uh, this one has even started to slip a little bit so um i do have some of my other stuff up in baskets that works out quite well but uh i just like having something relatively handy and easy to get to shoe boxes have been working out great for us uh, especially for me i'm the one who uses it all the time but uh, my only issue with this is i'm having trouble uh disciplining myself to put the shoes in there when I'm done wearing them and pull out the ones I don't I do want to wear so but uh, other than that that's all right sorry for the mess but Chester does not have learned how to uh, pick up his toys recently but uh, uh, we do like this rolling cart uh, this slips nicely right between the side of the bed and the side of the camper in the bedroom when we're traveling doesn't roll around at all and it gives us nice storage uh, for uh, uh, things that we need to get at f rather frequently for instance like uh, two drawers for Chester a couple of drawers that Marilyn keeps some things in and then I've got electronics in the bottom two drawers but uh, just loose items that you just don't want to put them in any kind of other kind of container and you want to be able to get to them right away and that's what we use this for so works out you know very well the upgrade I did on the table has been eh, marginal at best. Uh, it does hold the cords and uh, it uh, keeps them out of the way for me. However, I've got to find a better way to secure the power strip to the bottom of the table because that has slipped off. And uh, I've either got to get some other screws or some stronger Velcro just to hold it up. But uh, like everybody knows, these uh, camper trailers are just rolling earthquakes. But other than that, it seems to work pretty good. Um, keeps my cords out of the way, and I don't have to hunt for the plug. So I'm fairly happy with that. Three things of interest here. One, my thermostat. That's been working great. Uh, we've been had this in here now for a few months and using it on a regular basis, both air conditioning and heating down here in Florida. So uh, that has been uh, a nice little addition. Uh, Jetpack from Verizon after all the fighting I finally got this thing straightened out and it is working Exceptionally well, I don't have any problems making connection all the way down So I've been able to get on internet live without even using anybody's Wi-Fi So the one thing that has not uh, lasted was just above it but um, I had an antenna That it worked on right for about a year but then uh, with all the vibration it just fell apart and so I can't show it to you because uh, I put it in the trash someplace between here and Michigan 
One of the upgrades that I failed to mention before was this antenna tuner that I got through Amazon.com. It uh, basically is just a tuner so when you move your antenna around, uh, it uh, the lights will get brighter on the bottom and uh, actually the more light you have, the better the signal that you're get receiving. And so it works rather well for the uh, tuning into your local TV stations uh, rather than to kind of hunt and peck for it with uh, your antenna crank. One thing that's been very beneficial has been the LED bulbs that I put in all my lights. Uh, in case you didn't know it, oh, little ant there. And in case you don't realize or didn't know it, each light bulb, which is non-LED, uses about one amp. So if you've got, like for instance, I've got two, four, six, eight on the ceiling. And so you're using eight amps and that could be over a period of uh, an hour. That adds up. And then if you've got them on for any length of time, that's going to run your battery down if you're not running on uh, a generator or shore power. So um, uh, in case you're boondocking, that's something that you want to kind of keep in mind. I automatically switched over to LEDs, which uses a fraction of that. In fact, I would probably dare say all the lights combined uses less than one, one light bulb that's non-LED. <laughs> goes without saying you gotta have torsion bars or tension bars those really keeps everything nice and neat and so got it in the freezer got it in the refrigerator since we're boondocking here at uh, cracker dip barrel right now uh we're kind of on the move i don't take them out unless i'm uh, on the road for storage on those tension bars i do put them on these hooks on the inside of this uh, uh storage cabinet uh, works out quite nice uh, they I don't even keep the rubber band hold them down uh, most you know like when we're parked because they just don't fall off when I'm open and closing the door so uh, works works out quite nice it's a nice little tip in case you want for you know if you want something for storage who doesn't have the uh, hooks contact or the command hooks in their camper my only complaint is I should have switched and I'm going to switch them sooner or later to the brown so it looks a little bit better. But the white hooks have been working very well. Uh, if we break one, you just snap on a new one. So you don't even have to change the, you know, the tape behind it. Since Marilyn is short, uh, this uh, little step stool that we got at Walmart's worked out real well. And uh, I just basically store right behind the door when we're traveling. I also like it so when I'm changing out uh, or putting gas in the generator and uh, I can stick that on the side of the truck and reach over and reach inside the bed uh, with a little bit of extra height that that provides. Cup holders are working out well. Uh, I haven't had any problems with them falling off and uh, even with the little command strips, uh, Velcro strips, uh, that holds my uh, fire stick remote. So. Um, keeps everything nice and handy for us at night. When I mount the TV into the back in the bedroom, I uh, got it set so the TV can lift off and on and off very easily. Uh, so when we get ready to travel, um, I don't have it tight onto uh, the uh, fixture. It's not gonna slide anywhere as long as it's not on the, on the mount when we're traveling. Uh, I did get all my wires together and with wire management that makes it easy to connect when uh, we get to our location and when I get ready to leave I just unscrew the cable or the antenna wire and pull the plugs and lay it down on the bed throw a pillow on each side and uh, it's safe for travel. That pretty much covers the upgrades that I've done uh, with the truck and the camper but uh, one of the things I really wanted to do is take a few minutes and just to say how much uh, I really appreciated <clears throat> the hospitality that us RVers get at the Cracker Barrel. Uh, they have been fantastic. Uh, they give us or they give us plenty of space to park. 
they uh, allow us to stay more than one night. In fact, we uh, were, have stayed at at least two nights in every location with the exception of one. And while we were there, uh, they even had said, well, we went in for dinner, said that, yeah, some people have even stayed as much as a week. And so, but they give us plenty of room to park. Now, Marilyn and I always follow some basic etiquette rules. And one is, is that we try to be as inconspicuous as possible. Uh, we don't want to put out our, our uh, awning and our chairs and everything else. We want to make them think we were just parking there overnight. The other thing is, is we not only eat there, but we pick up trash around the place. So it actually looks better when we leave than when we got there. The Cracker Barrel that we've stayed at the last two nights has been on off of I-75 and uh, exit 141. Uh, as you can see, it's well marked as far as places where or where to park your RV. Uh, they do have designated spots. However, some of those spots have a tendency to be a little bit short when you have a longer trailer or a longer motorhome with a tow. And so uh, uh, they do have spaces available. Uh, we happen to be way back in the corner uh, where there was additional parking and it was out of the way. And uh, the manager was more than happy to let us stay for the entire time that we wanted to. I hope you enjoyed this episode on Cracker Barrels and RV parking, as well as uh, the review of our most recent upgrades that we've done on the truck and the camper. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And most of all, thanks for watching.